Hey guys, I'm back with another vlog day for you guys. Well, kind of a vlog. I like to call it a hair tutorial day behind the scenes. So I have four clients today, and my first one is a loyal client, Brenda. She's been coming to me for the better half of three years. She is extremely, extremely, extremely resistant. She's very gray around the front. So what we do is we actually have to go in and lighten her with a lightener, and then I let it sit about 45 minutes, rinse it off, and then we put her color on. We used to use a permanent color, now we use a demi-permanent, and we always you know, go back and forth between the same formula, but ways of doing it differently. So sometimes we'll leave the formula on for the full 20 to 30 minutes, and sometimes we'll just tone it if she wants a lighter look. A lot of other stylists always get confused when I talk about this and clients. So toning is a technique. It is not an actual color line or any kind of specific color. You can use demi, you can use permanent. I think it's smarter to use demi permanent when you are toning, but this is me toning her today. I put it all over her hair at the bowl, work it in for about five minutes, rinse, and then that gives us our desired results. We always use 6NWB and 8NWB equal parts Luma Shine with the dedicated 5 volume. It's demi permanent. And I always, always, always use the same formula, whether we want it to be darker or just tone it and be lighter. So when I want it to be darker, I will let it sit for the full 30. Quickly moving right on to client number two. This is my client Sloan. This is our second session trying to get her blonder. So today the goal is to just brighten her up a little bit more and add a nice root shadow with a level four to match her natural base. But so far after the first session, it's growing out beautifully. She just likes to keep up with it and didn't want to wait too long to get a little bit lighter. I'm using OxyCure with 20 and a 16th ounce of Olaplex. My favorite go-to as always. to leave this town cause they the I've been feeling down the cold nights just don't feel the same oh So if you guys have been following me for a while and you're an OG Brett Ryan supporter, you know I always usually do an upside down triangle on the crown of the head, followed by two underneath diagonal, slight diagonal sections on the left and the right. But I've been loving using this bricklay pattern the past few weeks. I do two in the middle, horizontal, two on the left on a slight diagonal, two on the right on a slight diagonal. I like to work my way up to the part of the head to the crown where it's small enough to just do them straight up from there and not have to go left and right anymore. If you haven't tried this placement, you guys are missing out. I know especially when you're a new person like my assistant Kathy, it can be so hard to get all the hair in those side corners and the underneath when you're doing diagonals and you know the head sometimes can be a little bit wider. Some have bigger heads, some have smaller and Kathy always complains about how she feels like she can't get the foil wide enough. They do have bigger foils that Frey Mars come out with, the Big Papa and all that. Or I have a trick where I could slightly turn my foil on a diagonal. But if you don't want to have to worry about that, especially if you're new, try this placement. You guys will thank me later. So I finished up Sloan's hair and then let her process for about roughly 45 minutes to 50 minutes. And then her hubby came in. That's right. This is Sloan's husband. And we are going through and we are going to do everything we can in our power to take this natural level 2 soft black color 
to a beautiful platinum blonde. And I can tell you right now, it did not happen in one session, but we did get really good lift. So watch what we did. You lay awake alone at night. I don't do any more platinum cards or on the scalp lightener except for friends or men that I'm close friends with or ex-boyfriends, stuff like that. But Sloan asked me to do this for him. He really wanted it done. And here's my advice. Never, ever, 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 ever put lightener on the scalp immediately because then you're going to get something called hot roots. If you watch closely, me and Kathy are splitting it down the middle, both tackling our own section. And we're going in with foils for the heat that we need in the conduction to actually lift it better. And we're leaving about a half an inch out at the root. We're going to then leave those foils on, let them process and let them sit. We're using 20 volume. And then after that, when it's almost close enough to being done, we'll go back in and we'll take a fresh bowl of lightener, 20 volume, and go hit all of those roots, as you see we're doing here. And she's going to run that fresh lightener down through the ends that are already to a perfect level 7. While she's doing that, I'm going to mix up Sloan's toners, bring her over to the bowl, root shadow her, and tone her, and then finish her up, get her out of the way, while we finish him up at the same time before client number 4. <laughs> All right, so now we added a processing cap for the heat. We're gonna let him even out. And this is what we were left with a few days later after two sessions, 20 volume the entire time with Goldwell OxyCure. And he is now, he's a platinum blonde and it looks so sleek, so beautiful, so great. And he was very pleased with it and that's all that matters. Took us two times to get there, which I told him it would. Let me tell you guys, he got really, really orange. It was crazy. So she looks beautiful. She toned well. I used 4N, 4NA on her root shadow. And then I toned her with two toners. You've probably seen me mix up. The first one was Global Colorants 10B, 10P, 10BS. And I was scared it wasn't going to do the trick because with Goldwell, you have to lift it to that perfect 10. So I mixed up 9B, 9P, and Reckon Shades EQ and did a quick glaze for a minute after the Goldwell was done processing. She loves these results. We love these results. Let me know down below what you think of these results. And now we're on to the final client of the day, client number four, who comes from far out in western Pennsylvania. She drove to meet me and get me to do her hair, and it was such a fun session. So much went on in this session and a big color correction that I wanted you guys to see. So we actually did a dedicated video to this. So if you want to see that, definitely hit your post notifications on, subscribe, do all that great stuff, and then you'll be notified as soon as this video goes up. All right, guys, that's going to do it and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed these vlog, well, not vlog, but an actual, you know, multiple client video day every time me and Kathy work on Fridays. And guess what? We're going to get even crazier because I just announced my new schedule. We'll be doing Mondays and Fridays, double booking, and we're going to pack the clients in as much as possible. So we're very excited. We'll definitely bring you as much footage as possible. Look at these results, you guys. All right, that's going to do it for today. I love you all so very much. Let me know down below what you think. Constructive criticism is always welcome. I'll see you in the next one. As always, so long for now, guys. to leave this town cause they the I've been feeling down the cold nights just don't feel the same oh, oh, oh.